Hi everybody, my name is Sean O'Kane with ChipEstimate.com and ChipEstimate TV, your IP resource for your next chip design in the world of the EDA industry. My guest today is Mike Noonan, Senior Vice President of Worldwide Sales and Marketing with Global Foundries. Thank you very much for joining us. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, something that was in the news just recently, uh, um, the uh, separation of Global Foundries and AMD. Is that, in theory, uh, allow Global Foundries to be more of a pure play foundry and, and give you more competitiveness, be more competitive, more open? Uh, very much so, and, and really what this is is you know, the you know, play out of what you know, both AMD and Global Foundries intended from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. you know, Global Foundries you know, to be a pure play foundry, AMD to be a fabulous company, and the steps that we took you know, uh, you know, tied to the modification of the wafer supply agreement mm -hmm. really is you know, a, the uh, uh, culmination of that game plan and you know, doing it faster than originally envisioned. So it right. makes us you know, much more competitive, not only to, to be the uh, supplier and the great partner at AMD that to what we are and continue to be mm -hmm. and intend to be, but also a, a great partner you know, to all of our other customers, and particularly you know, bringing up uh, more customers uh, in our Dresden facility. Fantastic. In fact, uh, you know, let's carry on the conversation in this wonderful lounge we got here. I got some other questions for you. Sounds good. Hi, we're in the... Uh, the lounge, the Global Foundry Lounge here at the Common Platform Tech Forum is, is quite nice. We're here with Mike Noonan, Senior Vice President, uh, Worldwide Sales and Marketing with uh, Global Foundries. And, and it's just to continue the conversation and talk about collaboration. It is very key. It's, um, <clears throat> it's stressed throughout the conference and throughout the forum. And going forward, how important is collaboration, especially with the bleeding edge technologies, even at the 28 nanometer. Yeah, yeah. yeah great question. And you know, and here we are you know, to uh, you know, the Common Platform Forum. You're literally in the center of you know the ecosystem. And if you think about it, you know, the business we're in, you know, is the most complex business ever. Yeah. And if it wasn't for the collaboration of you know the partners, you know, uh, with Samsung, IBM, and Global Foundries coming together at that basic R&D level, mm -hmm. uh, and then every step of the way, you know, having partners that basically can go from you know the capabilities of building one transistor to actually building SOCs that you know that make in the way of the products that uh, you know we all carry around with us. Mm -hmm. you know, every step of the way, you know, there's essential partners that you know are needed. You know, to go from that concept you know, to production to you know, building you know, millions of units. And as we start to move you know, into mass production at 28, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to get even tougher as we start to think about you know, 20 nanometers and moving to different structures and materials at 14 nanometers because what worked you know, at 65 and you know, might have worked well enough at you know, 45, 40 mm -hmm. and, and 28 may not necessarily you know, do the job when it comes to you know, design rule checks, electrical checks, you know, uh, being able to do floor planning. Yeah. So uh, uh, having this uh, firm you know, foundation that IBM, Samsung, and Global Foundries represent at that R&D level moving into you know, the technology implementation, and then the extended ecosystem, that's what's going to make this from you know, you know, science fiction into, <laughs> you know, again, the, you know, the, the revenue generating you know, yeah. production devices so, uh, that we're going to be looking at to, uh, in the years to come here at the uh, Common Platform yeah. Forum. So what's uh, in store for Global Foundries? The roadmap for 2012, yeah. what, how does that look like? Yeah. So uh, roadmap, game plan, you know, job one for us is to you know, deliver in our commitments. And just as we're doing with, the, uh, uh, with our largest customer, AMD, you know, for every one of our customers, we want to be the dependable, reliable supplier of choice. Right. That's you know what every one of our customers is looking for. You know they're making you know potentially you know either career building or limiting decisions to to work with us. So job one is to deliver. We're doing that today at you know 32 nanometer with our high K metal gates. You know shipping you know you know 100,000 to you know wafers. Moving now into 28 nanometer with our our first you know customer projects so in the line. And then to, uh, this year we'll see us you know, ramping 28 and then starting uh, uh, test chips, which we already have in the line for 20 nanometer. Wow. Yeah, so wow. aggressively moving forward at uh, 28 to uh, you know, getting ready for uh, you know, 20 nanometer, but every step of the way you know, looking to deliver on what you know, our customers expect, you know, whether it's AMD or any one of our customers, your reliable, dependable, quality you mm -hmm. know, supply. Right. 
thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us and uh, for our community, our design community, to know a little bit more about you and, and the direction of uh, Global Foundries. The pleasure's all mine. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So my name is Sean O'Kane for Chip Estimate TV and Mike Noonan with Global Foundries. We'll see you next time.